everyone welcome to tutorials point now after having learned that how a lipid molecule is formed by glycerol and fatty acids let us now see how many types of lipids are there so the learning objectives will be to categorize lipids into different types based on their chemistry now types of lipid blood was a scientist who in 1943 classified lipids on the basis of their chemical composition. Chemical composition as in what type of alcohol is present, what type of fatty acid is present, what type of bonds are present and what type of elements are present. So they were of three types, simple lipids, complex or conjugated lipids and derived lipids. Now first simple lipids. So simple lipids are very simple that is they are the ones, the triglycerides that we had studied, they are simple esters of fatty acid with alcohol. Now this alcohol might change. It can be either glycerol having three hydroxyl groups or it can be a monohydric alcohol having just one hydroxyl group. Then is the complex or the conjugated lipids. So why are they complex? Apart from the ester linkages, apart from the alcohol and the fatty acid, they also have certain compounds or certain elements in them like they can have a phosphate group or they can have a nitrogen or a, phos or a sulfur group. So that is how, that is the reason they are called complex or conjugated lipids. Next, derived lipids. Now these are derived. Derived, so they can be either derived from the simple lipids or conjugated lipids or they can be precursors to formation of these type of lipids. So these lipids, they contain a hydrocarbon ring. So ring is the speciality of derived lipids along with a long hydrocarbon chain. So that chain can also be called tail tail of the derived lipid molecule. Now they can be derived or can be precursors to the simple lipids. So lipids three types simple conjugated and derived. Now the simple lipids can be further classified as fats and waxes. What is the actual difference we will see in the upcoming videos. Up till now you must remember that the simple lipids are of two types fats and waxes. Similarly examples of complex or conjugated lipids are phospholipids and glycolipids. And the example of derived lipids are precursors as in fatty acids and alcohol and steroids like sterols, cholesterol and ketones. So this is the structure of a simple lipid. So somewhat it might vary but this basic skeleton will remain just the same. One glycerol, three fatty acids. Now complex lipids, they have a different molecule or different element as apart from the glycerol and fatty acids. So see here is phosphate and an alcohol group attached. So this type of structure is for phospholipids or conjugated lipids. And then derived lipids. They must have a hydrocarbon chain, ring. So this is a hydrocarbon ring and also a long fatty acid chain. So this is a long fatty acid chain. And where is the head? This hydroxyl group forms the head. Now on the basis of what is their function? in the cell or in the body. They are again of two types, storage lipids and membrane lipids. As the name suggests, storage lipids, we said that lipids are energy storage molecules, right? And they store more energy as compared to carbohydrates. So if they are occurring as reserve food under the skin, that is in adipose tissue or in the mem or in uh, as a cushion, then such type of lipids are known as storage lipids. The examples will be the triglycerides, the simple lipids that we study. The next is membrane lipids. Now membrane lipids, I, we, also studied that the, we also studied that lipids form cellular membranes. So those lipids which are present in biomembranes are known as membrane lipids. They can also be present in nerve sheets. The examples of such lipids are phospholipids and glycolipids. So this was all about types of lipids. Now in next video, we will be taking up individual lipids and studying about the structure and their function. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.